What's everyone? Hey, how you doing? It's Matt Sulla. Today, we are doing a spoiler talk review for DuckTales Season 3, Episode 17, dubbed The Fight for Castle McDuck. Joined with me, as always, is my good friend, Mark, via satellite radio. Marcello, buddy, how you doing out there, my dude? I am hanging in there. It's, uh... Coming to you live here in the end of November, waiting for December, so then I can, you know, start saying how I hope 2021, good God, I almost didn't realize it was 2021. I was about to say 2020 because 2020 hasn't existed. Oh my God, I just, can we just get on to 2020 so we can all then start saying how much 2020, 2021 sucked? Ugh, ugh. This year has rattled you so much, you're getting your numbers mixed up, buddy. It doesn't even feel like it's been a year. I feel like we're still somehow in March. There's been, uh, but we at least have DuckTales. Woohoo. That's for sure. Now, before we begin, folks, as I understand it, Mark, we have one more episode left of this season, allegedly, next week. And so after that, in December, we're definitely going to have one movie we want to check out and review, but we might go back and check some of the, maybe, would you say, older or other popular animated Disney shows. You think that might be a possibility? I think it certainly would be. We've had a lot of people chime in on, you know, uh, what they would like us to watch. You know, Eve, it doesn't even have to be Disney stuff. Just because we're talking about a Disney show, it just seemed to naturally spring up in the conversation. But our chat is always very engaging and, you know, always happy to recommend stuff. So uh, uh, if you're watching this video now, feel free to, you know, still pipe up. If we, you know, we've heard calls for Tangled, Amphibia, Gravity Falls, of course, because Matt hasn't seen that. And I've seen it. And I love Gravity Gravity Falls, and I want Matt to watch Gravity Falls. We'd probably just do it, probably a, for some of them, if, especially if there's stuff that's you know been finished. We'd probably maybe do it season by season, if not just a series overview. But like, um, yeah, just uh, let us know. There's also just a whole bunch of crazy fun stuff in the world of animation happening right now. Even though uh, you know things aren't always necessarily that fun this year. I will say one fun thing, Mark, that we do have coming up, and it has something to do with the Animaniacs. Are they zany? To the max, Mark. Mark, to the max. Oh, I, I hope there's baloney in their slacks. I mean, they are animani, totally insane. Pinky and the brainy. Animaniacs. Those, Those are, are the, the facts. facts. Anywho, so yeah, we do we do have some non-Disney stuff in the pipeline here, but we're always open to other non-Disney stuff. So with that being said, folks, if you can, I would really appreciate it. Not only if you like reviews like this, but you know, don't forget to subscribe, but probably more importantly, share this video or share other reviews that we've done. Get more eyes on it because we want to hear other people's opinions on content we like to check out. Now, Without further ado, let's get into this DuckTales review, The Fight for Castle McDuck. Now, what is this episode all about? Well, I'm just going to read off what Disney Now says about it because it's late and I'm a little tired. A bitter feud between Scrooge and his sister spreads to the rest of the family as Phantom Blot attempts to steal a priceless artifact and destroy Castle McDuck once and for all. And yes, that is generally the synopsis of this episode. This is a spoiler talk. We're probably going to go into more details about how the castle was once threatened in this episode. To kick things off, folks, I'm going to go on a bit of a, a vulnerable note here. While I will say this episode generally is pretty good, I will say this episode did give me an emotional hit I did not expect. And again, this is spoiler talk, so we are talking about things that happened near at the very end. In this episode, Webby is trying to mend the relationship between Matilda, Scrooge's sister, and try to make the family whole again, try to get them to stop fighting. But no matter what she would do, things always seem to get worse and more tense between the family members. To the point where Scrooge kind of besmirches the name of McDuck and just calls him Scrooge McScrooge, if I remember that correctly, Mark. Was that the joke there? Joke? I thought he was dead serious, Matt. How dare you, how dare you question the name and integrity of Scrooge McScrooge, richest duck in the world. Oh, you see, we're already fighting. We're not even related. That's how tense things are right now. But anyway, when Webby kind of admitted defeat that no matter what she did, no matter how much she admired this family, she believed that perhaps they were not as functional and great as she wanted them to be. And in the end, she just wanted to be part of a family and hoped that she could become part of the McDuck family. So when she admitted that, that hit me on a somewhat relatable level to the point where I actually started to tear up a little bit there. I did not quite expect that. And so that is the major props I got to give this episode. It actually got an emotional response from me. And I say, hey, good on you guys for doing that. Even though it's a very subjective reflection 
I'm glad that they were able to pull that off for someone like me. And so apart from that, there was just a whole bunch of other things in this episode that I quite enjoyed. I liked Huey and Louie kind of clashing the stratagems from finding the lost artifact, which was actually a blessed bagpipe. Was that the case, Mark? It most certainly was, Matt. And so that was kind of fun to see that Louie kind of knew how to cut straight to the point. But at the same time, Huey's like, but where's the adventure in that? It's all about solving puzzles and stuff. So I kind of like that. As far as the other relationships of the McDuck family, I thought was fine. But yeah, no, overall, I kind of enjoyed the episode. Now, there were other points that I liked, but I kind of want to hand the reins back over to Mark, assuming he covers these character relationships. Uh, Mark, what were some of your takeaways from this episode, the fight for Castle McDuck? Well, Matt, there were... There were a lot of scenes, actually, that I did enjoy. I'm not sure where on the whole this episode would rank with uh, some of the other ones we've had in the second half here of the third season, but uh, there were a lot of elements I liked. I do like, I did like the dinner table scene between Scrooge, his family, and Matilda. I thought that was actually really funny. There were a lot of really fun little lines and jabs that I felt really kind of, you know, reflect a genuine family argument, you know, especially ones that, you know, can sometimes be a little bit uh, superficial in many ways. You know, there's even one point where uh, Dewey winds up thinking he's Scrooge's favorite, only for Scrooge to just go, oh no, I just said that to guilt trip Matilda. And he was like, what? And then they're like, wait, he's the favorite. And it was, there was some funny stuff there. I will say, as someone who was not a fan of this incarnation of the Phantom Blot in his debut episode, I the character really grew on me in this episode. I actually really liked him and how he played off the uh, egghead uh, personnel Pepper, who um, actually, between the Phantom Blot and herself, has given us a bit of a Mandalorian reunion here, Matt. As we've mentioned before, the Phantom Blot is voiced by Giancarlo Esposito, and uh, uh, Pepper here was voiced by... Amy Sedaris, who uh, is the lady who runs the little repair garage on Tatooine, who, you know, I've also really enjoyed. Because for a second, I thought it was um, the lady who voices Jesse in Toy Story for some reason. But um, that wasn't right. But anyway, no, there, that was a lot of fun. If, there's also the scene where all these statues come to life because the, that's the power of the bagpipes. They give life to inanimate objects. And um, a bust of Scrooge's father's father comes to life. And then he just starts roasting Scrooge's father the same way that uh, he does to Scrooge. Scrooge and it's just really funny and just there are a lot of there's a lot of stuff that was really funny I will say for my complaints if you permit me Matt go ahead man and this is where I was victim of my own expectations for this because going into it we really only knew that we had Matilda voiced by Michelle Gomez and the title which was the fight for McDuck Castle and based on that and what little I know about Matilda from past experiences with the uh, Disney comics I know one prevailing suggestion had always been that Ludwig von Drake was married to Matilda, and that was in his relationship to Donald as an uncle. But um, so I thought we'd actually get to see Ludwig von Drake in the flesh in this episode as well, and you know, not be a main character. I kind of assumed that it would be Matilda and Scrooge really uh, clashing with each other in a sibling rivalry. But um, that wound up not being the case, and I was kind of then a victim of my own expectations because I really love Ludwig von Drake as a character, and I would really like to. While he's had plenty of stuff stating he is one of Donald's uncles, there's not been a lot of like real hard connections like there has been with Scrooge. And, you know, I just also love Corey Burton as a voice actor. So, you know, just more of Ludwig von Drake and anything is a okay with me. And I would really like him to be in the present timeline and not just in flashbacks, but that's just me being selfish. But, um, yeah, no, I was really glad they made the blot work more for me in this one because I was another character who I was really excited to see in this incarnation and who I kind of was disappointed, like I said, in his first. Uh, appearance, but like this with him being able to play off of Pepper was actually really fun. It was sort of different still from what we've seen the blot in the past, but also like it worked for me. It was really fun. I enjoyed it. I felt that the episode, once it became very clear what like the moral of the episode was at the end of the day, kind of got a little, took away a little bit from me just because I don't think as much this series compared to even other shows has kind of done the whole the moral of this episode thing is we kind of stepped away from that in terms of animated shows but um so it was kind of weird for me going back to that but 
I liked it enough. Probably it's not my favorite, but there were enough things in here. Going back to Castle McDuck, seeing Scrooge's parents, having, I think, kind of really the first real bit of anything with Matilda, even though she's a named character. I don't think we've had much with her outside of the fact that she was Scrooge's younger sister and um, is not Hortense, uh, Donald's mother. So it was interesting. It was fun. I liked it. I'm honestly just now really excited for the next episode because uh, Hugh Bonneville is going to be in it. And I love Hugh Bonneville because I know, Matt, you like him from the Paddington movies, and I like him from Downton Abbey. No, absolutely. And I think we're going to need a good cheery festiveness next week because we're close to reaching the end of this year, and my goodness gracious, we need some form of positivity now, don't we? As the song says, we just need a little Christmas right this very minute. And, you know, you know, any other holiday, you know, just we need a little cheer. That's what we'll just say. We need a little cheer. I think we can all, I think everyone can just say that, you know, no matter where you are or where you're at the world right now, now, just kind of need need a little something. And before you know it, it starts to feel like Christmas. I was waiting for you to say, before you know it, 2021 starts feeling like 2020. Oh, I've become cynical. I need to watch more cartoons. Which, as far as we know, because season two had 24 episodes, season one had 23. We're only at episode 18 for next week, then. It's the last episode listed, so unless there's another... Unless they divided this season into thirds, that should be our season three finale, which would make sense because season one ended with... Uh, well, no, no, season one didn't end with Last Christmas. Last Christmas, I think, was the halfway point, if I'm not mistaken. Or anyway, the point being, as far as we know, as of right now, that's the last episode we have listed. Here's hoping for more, but, you know, still loving DuckTales. Yeah, pretty much what Mark said. We're going to confirm that. But if indeed next episode is the season finale for this third season of DuckTales, then if you follow us on the second season finale and how we wrap things up there, no shock, surprise, we're going to do our usual overall seasons impression and things like that. But if indeed the next episode is just a break and we'll have the third final batch of episodes, then we will continue as planned when those episodes premiere. So with that being said, folks, you heard our opinion, but now we want to hear yours. Let us know in the comment section below. What did you think of DuckTales Season 3, Episode 17, The Fight for Castle McDuck? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Share your thoughts. Join the conversation. Be sure to leave a like, share, subscribe, ring that bell to be notified when new videos drop. And if you want to support me directly, consider going to my Patreon or do a one-time donation at my Streamlabs. Links are in the description below. This is Matt Sella. This is Mark. Thanking you all for tuning in. Oh.